Davis. The keyword is sustain. Off the deflection, Niemer touched the glass. So credit one more point. Niemer. Perich with the back set. Here comes Margo trying to do that set of stuff again. Great dig by Gonzaga looking at the It's money for Judge Santiago. Yes, that's right. If it's going to be insistent, everything has to be insistent. Adrenaline is pumping. They're up by five. Smart play by Tiron C, the captain. The setter. And another thing, I think that also the advantage if your setter jumps set. Yes. Now, the captain here, Valentina Tirozzi, she's not going to take it. And they cannot sustain it. There's a change at the center position. Finally, Lloyd gets a rest. And we have Clara Perich seeing action for the first time. Here she is, Perich. And she is productive as she gets a point of her first set. That's a good substitution there by Coach Giovanni Caprara. I think they need a little uh, shuffling of the card, so to speak. Yeah. 13 to 9. Vita still ahead. Oh, yeah, yeah, she produces. Hey, Clara Perich. Making her presence felt. Yeah, not only does she have a pretty face, but she can deliver points for her team. Clara is uh, a native Croatian. In the meantime, it is a set. Nice push. Punched into the air. Free ball. Oh, that's missed. <laughs> but look at this. Sometimes you don't have to be good. Right, that when she when Tyson also for the opponent blockers. 11-6 is the score. Kept defense by Stalzer. The ball is still alive. Fajardo goes to Chachago. I think Chacha was a little bit overexcited there. Yes. It went off the court, but the intention is there. So remember. Using Clara Perich as their first setter, the starter of this match. So a little change in the offense of uh, of the visiting team mm -hmm. and so far so good for them Chad. they're up by 5.61 there we go serving for pomi casal majori was lucia bossetti at the net pink shirts again they go to the back and get at that point to the captain, Valentina Tirozzi. Tirozzi is a very unusual outside striker. Look at her, the elevation and the extension of the left hand. Like, no, she's a lefty. Six. And if you're Bobby, you're saying sometimes life is unfair. <laughs> Here's the set. That is long. <laughs> 15 to 10 is the tally here. Five point lead by Vitra, leading also in the set count. Change in, in the, the lineup. If Pomi Casal Majori wins this match, what happens to them? If they're going to get this game, they are going to be sure they're going to be advancing to the next round. They're going to be the number two of Pool A. And they are going up against the uh, rank two of pool. I'm sorry, rank one of pool B. However, if Pomi Casal Majori ends up losing this match, then they run the risk of missing yes. the next round. Yes, that's right. Now, for PSLF to Logistics Manila, if they win this one, are they already in? If they win this one, it's not going to be sure in because they need or the PSLF to Logistics need to win the game tomorrow, which is the Ejaji, Ejaji Basi. Sorry. Ejaji Basi really Vitra. Yes. Ejaji Basi the, Vitra. They need to get that game also in order to advance. And that team, Ejaji Basi Vitra, hasn't lost a match yet. Yes. They are They're two. currently number one in 2-8. 2-0. 2-0. 
and whoever is number one in pool A will go against number two off pool B. And number one in pool B will go up against number two off pool A. for the semifinals. Right. Okay, now we are going to have this competition until October 23. So make sure that you either watch on television or go here at the Mall of Asia Arena. Set number three has begun. Yellow shirts up by one. They're fighting here, trying to steal a set. Quick one. Zone five was open. And that will be the second point of Komi Casalmajor. However, this is a good start for this third set. There's a one-on-one -on -one scoring point for each team. You know, we're not. If uh, PSL Acting Logistics will contain or will sustain, sorry, uh, will sustain this scoring, I think we can have a chance in this third set. I like what you pointed out in set number one. I believe it was like 4-5-0 before, even six years before we scored a point. It was late for the PSL logistics to adjust and to get their mid-game already in order to keep up with the game. So, it's like a detail for them. So Excellent. Simply because they have played catch-up for the big part. Give it, give her Meyer connecting on a nice quick there. Some things are being tried out in this tournament. That's right. Like that one, eliminating the technical timeouts at 8 and 16. And tricolor of the floor. And of course, your hawk eye for the challenge. 16-11. Omi trying to keep alive here. Uh, because usually in the outside, if you're a lefty, you're placed on the opposite side. And I noticed Cha, right before she hit that ball, she took a quick glance at what the defense threw at her before hitting that one. As F2, PSL F2 Logistics celebrates its second point. So going back to your uh, to what you mentioned earlier, Cha, for those who just tuned in, how crucial is this game for PSL F2 Logistics Manila? This is very crucial for us, for the PSL F2 Logistics Manila. In order for us to move to the next round, we need to win this uh, game and the game tomorrow for, uh, for an advancing. Yes, it's going to be really tough, but we need... Nice and her serving play, too much height there. And that is a check ball. Yeah, that was a check ball there from Boscovich. You know, when, when she's in the front line, you have to have good blockers in front of her, and your coverage has to really be fast. You know, the cross balls. court mm -hmm. is not done by the faint of heart. <laughs> and yeah. what makes her cross court so mm -hmm. impressive is the speed. Out two sets to nail. Fajardo saving that one. Gonzaga. Back to the pink shirts, the back set. Gonzaga setting this one up. Stalzer. Santiago will set. Stalzer again. Here comes Peric. To Bosetti. Fajardo going to Gonzaga. Gonzaga will fail to score on that one. Great net defense. I think by Peric. They really want and they badly need the set. Bossetti. Back to the yellow shirts. Fajardo will go to Niemer. Back set by Peric. Fukuda was there. Back set. Dak is missing that one. Meantime, Fukuda going to Niemer. Rally continues. Peric with the back set. Nope. The captain. And Santiago still failing to score. This ball is still alive. Niemer down the line. In the air. And then use some wrist action. Yes, that's why it's very, that's the time it's going to be very deceptive. Dakis, the captain. Meantime, Fukuda is doing a good job defending that.